Hello again. Now, residents of Flakfontein, south of Johannesburg, say enough is enough. The body of another woman has been found dumped in the bush in the area. The incident took place yesterday. Recent crime stats that were released last Friday show just how the country is becoming more dangerous for women and children. Our reporter Heidi Jokos was in Flakfontein earlier today. She's joining us now in the studio just to tell us what happened there. Heidi, welcome to today. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. You were down in Flakfontein earlier today and you spoke to the residents. What did they tell you? Take us through their plight. Yes, so they are very concerned about uh, the state of Flakfontein. They feel as though uh, the concerns of women and children are being ignored. Um, the fact that there are a number of rapes and murders that happen on uh, almost a daily basis is uh, not being addressed by the police. And they do feel as though uh, the police are not deploying enough resources to the area. If you remember, Bradan, a couple of years ago, there were seven family members that were murdered in Flakfontein, uh, and their bodies were basically... Uh, buried in a house um, and uh, that emerged completely shocked the community but it doesn't seem as though anything is getting better and this is what the community has been telling us today to say that yes this incident happened a couple of years ago but still it continues to happen there was another incident uh, not the one that happened yesterday but there was another one about a few months ago where a grade 11 pupil was uh, raped and brutally murdered uh, another lady had uh, taken a walk to drop her, uh, her child off at Krish and on her way back she was raped. She was lucky enough not to be murdered. Uh, but this is the reality that many residents face in Flakfontein and not just in Flakfontein but if you look at what's happening in Gauteng it's a massive problem and the community is fed up which could possibly lead to community members taking matters into their own hands and this is what police and community members are trying to avoid. But we got a chance to speak to some community members. Let's listen to what they had to say to us today. Fontaine, we've got a long string of cases starting from the Cosa 7 case whereby seven people were brutally killed, including women and children. A few months back, a grade 11 learner was killed, brutally killed and raped just here in Flagfontein Extension Trail. And yesterday, around 11 o'clock, we discovered a podium of a lady named Paidin Ewo. Uh, she's in her late 30s. Um, we discovered that she was raped and uh, brutally killed. We are asking the community because it means the perpetrator is people that we are living with in the same community and in the same world. Now, I'm speaking as a father, I'm speaking as an uncle, I'm speaking as a role model to it to say let it stop now, let us not keep on living with these people and not assisting the cops. We are not saying that the community must take the matter into their own hands. But we are asking, we are asking the minister, the police minister, he came here and made a point that uh, the, 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 the police will show more visibility. Obviously something that we don't see. It's a big concern because it happens almost every month and especially in women's months. We bury women, we bury our daughters. So crime is too high, especially for women. Yeah, I mean, 855 women were killed between April and June this year, according to the late states in our country. I mean, just in three months, three months. that's a shocking, shocking thing. And yet another body was found just yesterday in Flakfontein. Yes. And you managed to speak to the family. Yes, we spoke to the family. They are completely distraught. And what's even more heartbreaking, I think, Bradan, is the fact that the, the family does not believe as though the police are going to be able to find the perpetrator and be able to find who killed uh, their sister, their, their loved one, their family member. So it's a huge concern. The, uh, the family indicating that the body was found in uh, quite a shocking state. It almost seems as though um, the 33-year-old was fighting for her life. Uh, police have confirmed that she was raped and, of course, then murdered and dumped uh, in bushes uh, in an area in Flakfontein. We got a chance to speak to her sister. Let's listen to what she told us earlier. I think with the... There was more than one person there, you know, and I really don't understand the part where the lady left my sister there to go sleep at home and don't even try to make amends to come and tell the family of what transpired, you know. It's one of the things that just puzzles me. It, it just brings more pain because I don't understand what really happened to my sister. She's been living this life. She's been going out you know, with different people. I didn't think that this is her way of leaving us. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's very devastating. It's... I haven't seen her for like a week. So when I heard this, I thought maybe they were mistaken because I know how responsible she is, you know. 
So when I got there and got to see the body and got to hear all these kind of stories, I didn't sleep the whole night. I couldn't, like, they were... It was like, these things were... I was relieving the moment, you know? And I just don't know what's going on. I, I, I really, I really... I need answers. I need to know what's going on. And if that woman can do such a horrible thing, how can you go home and sleep and leave my sister dying? Like she was fighting for her life. I've, we found her, she was strangled. She had no clothes on. Like, do you understand what was, what was going on? Another woman killed in our country. What a disgrace. That uh, comment there by a family member of the woman who was found dead yesterday ends that update by Hadi Jokos.